We begin though with a breaking news alert from San Antonio, where at least 46 migrants were found dead tonight in the back of an 18 wheeler on the city's southwest side. Officials say at least 16 others survived. They were taken to San Antonio hospitals and late word that four of those survivors are children. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. This news is horrific tonight from the Alamo City, and it really begs the question. Why were dozens of people in the back of a sweltering semi several hours away from the border? Well, exports point to the fact that there are inland border patrol checkpoints, so smugglers often work hard to protect their human cargo. Henry Ramos is on the ground tonight in San Antonio. I'm Henry Ramos here in Southwest San Antonio. We're covering what officials are calling a horrific human tragedy. Just minutes ago, we heard from San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood, who says 46 people were found dead in a trailer. 16 people did survive and were taken to area hospitals, all with heat related injuries. Some of those pediatric patients uh, were told by officials that after six o'clock tonight, someone, a worker in this area, found the trailer, opened the door in the back of the trailer and made that gruesome discovery. Here's more from officials in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. In terms of the investigation, it's now being handled by the feds. San Antonio Police Chief Lloyd McManus says as of right now, three people are in custody, but he made sure to say it's not known if those people are connected to this incident. But now federal investigators are taking over. In San Antonio, Henry Ramos, back to you. All right, and the nationalities, the ages of the victims not being released at this hour. Stay with 12 News on air and online for late breaking updates. Our daybreak team will be on the air with continuing coverage on this horrific story from San Antonio. Look for their updates starting at 430 in the morning.